going to measure the mast rake um, by measuring the height of the mast, well, from the top of the mast to the transom. We measure to the end of the main halyard here and haul it up and then see what the measurement is. <laughs> Now, from what I remember on the website, the range actually is quoted as 245 to 247. So we're at 246, which is spot on in the middle. I'm pleased with that. Right, so I've put the uh, shrouds back to the original position. I've put the rig tension back on again. Let's measure the regular mast in the same way by measuring it from the top to the bottom and it's made a difference now so we're now on 2455 and what i do i'm going to go the other way i'm going to put the rig a little bit straighter a bit more upright and we'll see the difference it makes with that as well it's not much of a distance here but it has a big effect at the back and the master rig so let's put the rig tension back on again rig is more upright let's see what that measurement is now and 247 so it's gone that's a whole inch that's, that's amazing <laughs> that really is amazing I didn't think it'd be that much. an alternative way of measuring your mast rate so we could measure it by um, hanging the a weight off the main halyard and measuring the distance back from the mast or alternatively again it makes it simpler you don't have to get the boat level so you can have the boat in any um, orientation and you can measure the height from the top of the mast to the top of the transom and you can calibrate it because you know what the measurements are you know which holes you've got on the shroud and for given wind strengths you can uh, change it and get the mast rake that you wish to have so thank you. any more comments keep them coming thank you